Hey everyone, in today's video, we're going to learn how to use Poetry tool in Python. So we'll talk about managing Python projects with Poetry, which is all in one tool that simplifies the process of managing dependencies, building a projects, working with virtual environment, and finally publishing those projects. So in this video, we'll learn how to do all these tasks with Poetry. Of course, I'm going to show you the installation process and we'll have a quick example projects just to get started so that you can understand how this tool will fit into your projects and workflow. But before we begin, I want to mention that I put a lot of effort for creating these type of content that are very clear and easy to follow. So please like and share that will truly inspire me to create more valuable content. So with that, let's start today's video. So we're going to start installing the poetry on a Linux machine, then set up the necessary environment variable first. So to do that, let's head over to the official Poetry website. Under the documentation section, go to the installation tab. You will find the command to install the Poetry on Linux and WSL platform. So let's copy this one from here and uh, put it on the VS Code terminal. And you can see the installation is currently running. It takes few seconds to complete. Once the installation is complete, it will ask for you to update the environment variable and you can see the details as a bin directory to be as a path variables. In my case, I'm using Z shell, so we'll open Z shell file in VS Code and update the path variable. And finally, to activate the path variable, we can either use source command, which I'm using here, or you can simply restart the shell. So once we have done the installation, we'll navigate to the directory we'll be working. So in my case, this is going to be poetry project folder. So here now we'll see how to create a new poetry projects. And this is done by typing poetry new, then the project name. And this is going to create a project structure, what we need for a package. Basically, we have net DevOps project directory. Inside of this, we have another package folder with the same name and we have init file on it. And we also have a test folder here with another init file for the test. And we also have a configuration in TOML file. So here we have some data like version, description, other dependencies, also build system that is going to be used. Now we can do a lot of things with Poetry. So we can add dependencies easily. But before we dive into those, let's see how to create an isolated Python instance, also known as virtual environment for this projects. Now if you check the Python versions, we have 3.10 distribution. And if you run which Python, it shows we are currently using the default Python. So in order to create an isolated Python environment, we can use poetry shell command. And when you run this command first time, it create a virtual environment and activated them automatically. And you can also see a dot PNV file inside our project folder now. So if you go to the Python 3 shell, you're able to see we are having Python 3 version 3.10. And if you want to change the Python versions in the virtual environment, we can do that easily. First, we need to find out the available Python version by typing the ls command. So here we have both 3.10 and 11. Now to change the version, I will type poetry env use and provide the path details for 3.11. Then it will go and recreate the virtual environments. If again type the Python 3, we can see that it has been switched to 3.11 now. We can also check this with poetry env info. It shows all the details about the virtual environment and its path. So this is how you can create the virtual environment and switch to different Python versions with the poetry command. So if I want to add dependencies, I'll type poetry add, then mention the module details. Let's say I want to have Ansible here. So it is going to install all the dependencies for the Ansible, like cryptography, Chinchai 2, Ansible code and many more. And once the installation is done, we can see a couple of things. Let's check the pip freeze. Then you see all the dependencies installed in the Python virtual environment we just created. And we can also see an updated project TOML file. And there is a log file generated. In this, we can see all the packages are tracked. We can see Jinja2, PyAML, and its version it is used. So it is a complete list of packages and the version in the log file. And this is done automatically. And if you want to see them in a tree structure, you can use poetry show tree command. Alternately, you can use poetry show hyphen v and v stand for verbose and it will show all the dependencies and its version. 
Now if I want to go to Ansible version command to see what is the version it has loaded for the Ansible, you can see we have 2.15 installed which is the latest one. Now if you want to have a specific release of dependencies then we can use poetry add command and mention the versions you want to install. So here we will install the request dependencies and we also want to install them in a development environment. So the final command looks something like this. So once the installation completes, we can go and check the configuration file and we can see the request module is added on the dev dependency. So this is how we can build the development and add supporting packages. So what we can do here is let's say you have some script here and you want to publish this on PyPy, which is a platform where you can install those packages through pip later. So what we can do is we can build a wheel file with the poetry build command. So we need to create a PyPy account first and set up a token for authentication before publish a package. So here on the PyPy.org, go to the account section on the extreme bottom, you will find API token and add new token and provide the token details. You can create a token for complete account or specific project. Once the token is generated, copy them and update the key using the config command. So with this, we are ready to build and publish your package. So building is same as the package in your projects and this is required step before you publish it. So to build your package, type poetry build command. You can see a directory called test created now with a wheel file inside and we can also see a compressed version of GZ. So with these files, we are now ready to publish our Python package to the PyPy. So PyPy is a default publishing target for poetry. So type poetry publish. Since the authentication is API based, which is already in place, publish command will not require any credentials. Now we have successfully published it. We can go and check the published package on the PyPy projects. And the package is now published and publicly available on PyPy. And you can use pip to install these packages whenever you required. So on that note, I hope you get the entire perspective of what Python poetry. If you enjoy this video, please press the like button and share your thoughts on the comment sections. Thank you for watching. I'll see you soon on the next video.